Sports Link, brought to you by Cure Alkaline Water. St. Paul at home for their East of Basketball League season opener. The Warriors hosting the Islanders. Xander Sanchez, corner jumper, drops in for two points. Jeremiah Kentucky cross-court pass to Carl Vinka, who splits the defense on his way to the basket. St. Paul up 17-14 after the first quarter. John Sevilla with the outlet pass from Josiah Quintaniza. Sevilla with the spin move. And hang time to draw the foul and one. Warriors extend their lead to 10 points at the half, leading 31 to 21. St. Paul's Labanza finished the game with nine points. Two of that coming here with the shot off glass. Carl Vinca using his size to get to the rim again. Vinca hit for 12 points. Islanders trailed 44 36 heading into the fourth quarter. Josiah Kintanidza put up 17 points for the home team. Nice move to get inside for the finish. Left-handed layup off the backboard. Warriors built a 14-point lead with under five to go in regulation. Jacoby Kanata drains the three from up top. This was his only score of the game. Xander Sanchez attacking the JFK defense. Baskets good and the foul. Sanchez gets the bounce on the free throw attempt. Jeremiah Kentucky's shooting was off from the outside, so decided to dine in. Kentucky goes high off the backboard for two of his nine points. Warriors press late in the game for back-to-back -back scores and led by as much as 17 down the stretch. Warriors get the win at home 68-52. Xander Sanchez led all scores in the win with 22 points. Kirsten Guzman finished with 11 points in the loss. St. Paul takes on Tizen High on Saturday at 2 in the afternoon at Tizen. Sheila Sarmiento was senior at Simon Sanchez High School, recently committed to American International College. In the fall, she will move to the Springfield, Massachusetts campus and participate in their NCAA Division I Women's Rugby program alongside Kian Pangalinen, a 2020 graduate of St. Paul who played rugby for Ukudu High School. I've always wanted to see how it feels like to play 15s, you know, I wonder, I've always wondered how it feels like to always be in contact, full on contact, consistently for 80 minutes. I know it'll be a challenge because, you know, most girls out there, you know, they're not, they're, you know, I don't want to say they're really big, but, you know, like they're, they're, you know, they're, they'll, there'll be competition out there and working for your position is something that I'll have to definitely get used to coming from a small team here on Guam. Teasen High and Sanchez played their first game of the Easter Girls basketball season last night in Teasen. Sharks go inside to Heather Rages, catch and shoot. Rages goes window for the easy finish. Zyla Soriano with the step back on the corner three. All net on the deep ball. Frankie and Baza nowhere to go. Pass outside to Precious Pexton. Three-point attempt, no good. Baza with the rebound goes right back up for the score. Sharks inbounding the ball down court. Soriano to Ranafe Olette. Spot up three, cha-ching, she's all money from downtown. If she has the hot hand, she's got to eat. Soriano sees Olette setting up at the top of the key. Quick pass, pull up three by Olette is all net. The Titans scored four points to get the second quarter started. Baza chilling around the three-point line. Long two is good. Sharks cruising with the 22-8 halftime lead. Sanchez gets the dub 46-22. Ukudu and JFK lacing up in the Junior Varsity Division. Bulldogs up 44-42 with 6.53 to go. Kyle Varela with the shot from the outside. 15 points for Varela. The Islanders went cold at the line, missing four straight free throw attempts. Justin Lazama with the dump off pass to Kobe Manansala. Off the turnover, Bulldogs running on the break. RJ Gamboa pushing the ball down court. Layup in between two defenders. Drops in for two of his five points on the night. Islanders tied the game at 56 with 53.5 left in the game. Riley Cruz finally got a shot to fall for JFK at the free throw line. Bulldogs had one last possession before the final buzzer. Cody Bularan with the running three-point attempt. Ball goes off the backboard. Tipped out as time expired. JFK with the win on the road 57-56. Boys varsity matchup tipping off right after. Islanders looking to bounce back after losing their first game of the season to the St. Paul Warriors. JFK still without big man Dean Wellbacher. Justin Arjona, corner three for the home squad. Good ball movement from JFK. Patrick Talosig 
to Carl Vinka to Kristen Guzman, mid-range jumper is money. Monty Cabrera with the quick answer, corner three, yes sir. Talos Sig dribbles down court, Jeremiah Kentucky finds Mark Morales chilling in the corner. JFK making it rain from long range. Ukadu's Jesse Martin with the inbound pass from Arjona gets the bucket and hooks Arjona up with the assist. Martin filling it, another assist by Arjona. Martin hits from the outside. JFK missed Amram Yobe in their opener. Yobe hustles to the loose ball and gets rewarded with the reverse layup. Islanders picked up the win 69 to 54 to improve to one and one on the season. Jeremiah Kentoki with a tough left-handed layup off glass in the win. Sportslink, brought to you by Cure Alkaline Water.